A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer, delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. My name is Zach Warrington, pharmacist here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. Hair Drug Center, we are proud to offer a drive through service, fast free delivery, and a friendly staff. My favorite part about working here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland is we know them by name and they know us and we take care of them. One thing I think our customers appreciate about us is that we're fast and that's something we strive for is to get people their medication as quickly as possible. For all your medication needs, come to Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. We're here for you. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate technologies. We talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here. And I also teach a farm machinery and shop management class. With the technological background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting. And right now, we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. It's very special to me that you can take a seed and plant it in the ground, and you can see a plant grow, and you see something to harvest from it. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer, delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. North Sunflower Medical Center is proud to serve the Delta with quality health care. We offer cardiology services with Jackson Heart, Swing Bed, Pulmonary Function Studies, Hospice Care, a Surgery Center, a Wound Clinic, Senior Care, 
and the Walter B. Cook Nursing Home. I know that sounds like a lot, but we offer even more. Check out NorthSunflower.com for a full list of our services. North Sunflower Medical Center is truly a gem of the Delta. Don't worry about driving too far to receive great care. It's right outside your back door. North Sunflower Medical Center. Take me to Ruval. Love the field of study, love refrigeration. It's what I've done basically since I got out of high school. I came right into this same program in this same shop. Well, with HVAC, there's so many different avenues you can take between refrigeration, ice machines, commercial refrigeration, uh, residential heating and air conditioning, commercial heating and air conditioning, and so on and so forth. There's endless opportunities for these guys. Our goal is to have these sophomores placed at a job where after spring break, they don't come back. They're on the job learning and providing for their family. There's nothing better to have a student come back after five or six years to give you their success story. How they went from where they were to where they are now, and I was a part of that. I am a graduate of Mississippi Delta. I stayed here four years. I took HVAC and I took industrial electricity slash industrial maintenance. I don't get stuck in a rut. That's why I chose industrial maintenance, heating in there, for the simple reason I'm not stuck in a building all day. I might be wiring up lights at a customer's house today. I might be working on a well motor tomorrow. Then they might want to go to a factory. Then they might want to go work for a welding company. A student will be able to decide what way he wants to go. If they're serious, they can get a job anywhere. Well, I tell them if they have a willingness to learn, I can show them how to get out and get a good job, and they can make all the money they want to. You know, they get top pay when they graduate. For two years, you can make anywhere from $18, $24 an hour, somewhere in that range. I really like when I see a student learn something. That's very rewarding. Precision agriculture essentially is applying crop production inputs on a site-specific basis to reduce waste, increase profit, and maintain the quality of the environment. It's uh, everything from working on the computer and geographic information systems, how we look at imagery, do prescription maps, to trapping beavers, to, to learning about wild hog control and what the best methods are for that. It's a two-year program, so you can get an associate's degree or you can do it in essentially a year and a half if you want to just get the certificate in precision agriculture. And if you would like to continue on to a university with a four-year degree, there's a great articulation that we have now at Mississippi State University and also Alcorn. What I enjoy about teaching is taking a student who has never been around welding before, and by the time we're through with them, they're able to go out and get a job and make a living and provide for themselves and their families. Job prospects look good. If you want to get out there and work, the jobs are there. Your range in which you can go basically depends on your work ethic. My class size started at 12 feet, two of which are already at work. They've been working for two weeks now. They don't even come to class. They come and take their exam at the end of the year, and they've been getting a paycheck. You can make all the money that you're willing to go out and make. The sky's the limit. MDCC has your college experience close to home. a quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything.
At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! My heart is with the students. We are such a tight-knit group here in Business Office Technology. We just get to know them personally. We get to know them as far as what they want to do with their future to help guide and direct and um, be a part of them. Our students that go the accounting direction will take the same basic core classes that all BOT students take. They also begin to pick up advanced business accounting that the other majors do not. They take payroll accounting, they take income tax accounting, QuickBooks. They all will be able to go and be um, like a payroll clerk, an accounts payable receivable clerk. Some of our students want to go on to the university level and they can, and they're prepared to go on and get a, a possibly a bachelor's degree in accounting or even get their CPA. Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Are you or a family member in need of rehabilitation? Well, North Sunflower Medical Center can help. Our swing bed program is designed to assist patients who have recently experienced a knee or hip replacement, heart surgery, or an operation that requires further rehabilitation. So, if you have been in the hospital for a few days and are not quite ready to go back home, our swing bed program can help you get back to the road to recovery. We provide physical and occupational therapy to help the patient with coordination and mobility. With that said, getting you back to day-to-day -day function is our main goal, and we will help you with every step. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Rural Hall. Previous to this, I was actually a math major, but I have my own small business. So I like to use those experiences and share those with my students to hopefully inspire them. So in administrative office, you cover all of the Microsoft Office programs. You'll take Microsoft Word 1 and 2, you'll take Excel 1 and 2, and you'll take Microsoft Access. Also, you take business communications, so you learn how to communicate effectively in the business world, and that's so important. One really great benefit to our students is they get to do an externship. So they actually get to go out and shadow and work for a business. So they get those hands-on experiences. They can start off in any entry-level position as far as a payroll clerk goes, an administrative assistant, even possibly a manager of a business. When I came up, you know, everybody said, go to a four-year college, blah, blah, blah. Really and truly, if I had it to do over again, I would come to a community college and learn a skill. Because skilled labor right now, these guys are the future. They're gonna be the ones making the money. We do offer a certificate program, a technical certificate program, and an associate's degree out of this program. So there's three career paths that they could take. A one-year, two-year, or take some academics and do an associate's degree. We do an apprentice program and an on-the-job training program through Win Job Center with several of our dealers in our area. And I've got dealerships and private guys just beating the door down needing technicians. So this skill right here is something they can carry on through life, they can make a living at. If you know what you're doing, you can make six figures. No problem. That's a lot of money.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Jimmy, Belli Jimmy Bellapani Baseball Complex here on the campus of Moorhead, Mississippi. Trojans today facing the Rangers of Northwest Community College. Starting on the hill for the Trojans. Nash Koska. Leading off, sophomore from Bahalia, Mississippi. First pitch going to be just a bit high from Koska. This is Jacob Hill at bat for Northwest. Hill will be the shortstop for the Rangers. That one missing a little bit high to the inside. Two balls, no strikes for Hill. Ground ball. Over to shortstop, gets past the Trojan shortstop. Number six, Jacob Brooks. And he lays out for it just out of his reach. So, quick base hit there for the Rangers of Northwest. That'll bring to the plate. Number 16, Caleb, Cade Greer, excuse me. Oscar thrown over to first, not in time. Again, checking the run over at first. Another ground ball. Right over to shortstop. Fielded by Brooks, thrown over to first out, number one. Moves the run over to second for Northwest. One out. He's going to bring to the plate Peyton Martin. Playing right field for the Rangers of Northwest. Ground ball right back up the middle. Fielded by Trojan second baseman. It's going to be under thrown over at first. Go into the dugout. Runner going to advance to second. And the runner that was on second going to score. Cade Leatherwood up next for Northwest. Still the runner on second, just one out. Breaking ball missing just a bit to the inside from Casca. Leatherwood going to be the, the Rangers' third baseman. They take the field. 1-1 one, one facing Ash Koska now. One ball, two strikes after a second foul ball. Again, out of play. Nice 
Swing and a miss, strike out there by Nat, Nash Koska. Out number two, still the runner on second. Sophomore from South Hillo, Mississippi. At the plate now for Northwest. See a good bit of wind coming on, as always, here in Moorhead, Mississippi. Two balls and a strike. Ground ball right over to Nash Koska. Uh, on the on the hill, he trots over to first, tosses it over, out number three. So Northwest finds one run in the top part of the first inning, leaves one on. We'll take a short break, have more Trojan baseball action after this. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Kiki Jackson, I'm the administrator at Walter B. Crook Nursing Facility at North Sunflower Medical Center, and we would love to show you why to make us your home away from home. We're different because we're a long-term care facility with private rooms. We have five courtyards, we have a registered dietitian, and we have the best activities program. We only want to give the best to the Mississippi Delta. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruleville. I've been on heavy equipment my entire life. Yeah, I was nine years old and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile long and left me there for a week. And... Welcome back, leading off here for the Trojans in bottom part of the first inning. In game one, Foster Mitchell, Trojan left fielder. First pitch. Oh, first pitch grounded over to fir between first and second base, and Foster. Interesting turn of events there. Let all that unfold. I think everyone saw that at home. So a uh, hit out in between first and second base, and uh, Mitchell outruns that throw to first, and it uh, gets behind just a little bit, and that was interesting there. Oswald at the plate, gonna put it in play. High fly ball out in the right field, gonna be caught. And tag up from second. And Oster Mitchell going to make his way over to third on the tag up. So runner on third base for the Trojans. So we're going to see Jacob Brooks, the Trojan shortstop. Up next at the plate with a runner 
on third in front of him. Brooks, the sophomore from New Albany. First pitch going to be called a strike. Some moves and odds from that one. Trojan dugout didn't like that call. Looked a little bit low. Round ball straight up the middle. Nearly bounces right over the head of the pitcher, fielded by the shortstop for Northwest. Easy throw over to first. Does score a run for the Trojans. Jacob Hill that fielded that ball for Northwest. Up next for Mississippi Delta at the plate. Drew. Gerald, man, first pitch. Not even getting, getting much time to look at our batting order here. And that's he's going to fly out to left field. And that's going to. That's going to do it for the first inning. Trojans tied after one with Northwest Community College. We'll take a short break. You're watching Trojan Baseball here on the MDCC Sports Network. It's a lot of different pieces of equipment it takes to get the job done. We have backhoes, kid steers, track loaders, bulldozers, motor graders, dump trucks. You need to know all of them and be a master at one or two of them. That way you can fluctuate throughout a construction job site. Construction equipment, it's everywhere. My long-term goal has always been to teach. I had a professor when I was in culinary school that was kind of one of these life-changing guys. Spent a lot of time and effort with me. Uh, and my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you. Whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste of the food, you have to have all three of those aspects together to make a really, really good dish. There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef. Knowledge, skill, taste, judgment, dedication, and pride. And if a student has those six things and follows through with them, they will be wildly successful. Having a dream and following through with that dream is probably one of the most rewarding things that I can have. Welcome back, Levi Lane, the French freshman from Jetsonia, Arkansas, going to lead off here in the top part of the second four, Northwest. Northwest, six, seven, eight in the lineup. Here starting inning two, Lane designated hitter here in game one. Of course, his first at bat facing Ash Koska. Oh, one pitch going to miss. Good bit to the inside. Of course, Koska, the sophomore from South Haven, Mississippi. Strike on the outside part of the plate. Got to brag on Nash. He, uh, he's been a lot of help to us over foul ball out of play over the last over the last six months, helping with uh, basketball and football broadcast. He's been uh, run cams and stuff like that. He's been a lot of help. Good kid. He's going to walk lane. Uh, he's going to walk lane as it hit, they say it hits his, just off his elbow. So we'll uh, it's going to bring their second baseman to the plate. See who 
this is. It's going to be number 11. Sorry about that, just unable to see that number. It's Tyler, Tyler Pearson. Owner on first. After the walk, no outs. First pitch going to miss just a bit. One ball, no strikes. No pitch from Costco. It's a little low into the inside. Foul ball down the left side. Side ball two, two one. Excuse me, three one. Three one pitch from Costco. Hard hit ball right over to second base. Throw it's tossed to second in time and the throw to first in time. Double play there from the Trojans. Trojan second baseman. Flips it over to shortstop. Um, Jacob Brooks and throwing over to first in time for the double play. And we're at number eight in the order here. I believe this is Jackson Jenkins. Excuse me. Excuse me, it's number 34. Hayes Davis at the plate. Ball fouled. Fouled away, two, two balls, one strike here. To the sophomore from Starfield, Mississippi. Nobody on. Two balls, two strikes. Davis fouling another one. It's time out of play. Davis playing first base for Northwest. I heard, the, heard some of the guys. It sounded like it hit somebody's car. Ground ball right over to shortstop. Jacob Brooks going to make the throw over to first. Out number three. So no, none left on there. Easy works there for the Trojan. We'll take a, we'll take a step aside for just a second. We'll be back after this. You're watching MDCC Sports Network. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. 
Visit us at Canlon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between. Welcome back, Thomas Kuhn. Gonna lead off for Mississippi Delta Community College here in the bottom part of the second. Kuhn playing the second base for Mississippi Delta. Responsible for that double play just a few seconds ago. Or the start, first part of it anyway. Round ball right over to third. Easy play over at first. Quick out number one. Offered Hill. At the plate now for the Trojans. Sophomore from Cleveland, Mississippi. Hard hit ball. It's going to be just foul. Down on the third base side. Missing to the outside. And from short, even up to count one, one. He'll lay it off the high outside pitch. Now two, one. straight back this time from Alford Hill. Two balls and two strikes. Foul ball again down the third base side. Two two count. Alfred Hill going to get a good piece of this one. Going to be grounded straight to the shortstop. Easy throw over to first out number two. So two down. Owen Gaden up next for the Trojans. Right hander, Sunatobia, Mississippi. Designated hitter for the Trojans here in game one. Two outs, nobody on for Mississippi Delta. He look to get something going here. Two outs, laid off the first pitch from Sharp, low into the inside. Just cannot stay away from the wind here in, in Moorhead. That thing is. Cameron mounted out in center field pretty heavily. Breaking ball, swinging a miss there from Gaden.
Yeah, missed two two. Full half swing there from Gaden gonna be popped up over the, over to the right side. Still a two two count. Here for Owen Gaden. hit out in left center field. Trojans, Trojans really getting into this one. Triple there by Owen Gaten. Trojan dugout really getting into it. Love that. So Owen Gaten getting things started, getting around for the Trojans. Late in the uh, second, bottom of the second. John Barajas at the plate for the Trojans now. Barajas playing center field here in game one for Mississippi Delta. that pitch and it's going to be called a strike on the outside part of the plate. So Trojans leave one on there off the single base hit from uh, Owen Gaden. No run score, nothing hurt. That's going to do it for the second inning. We'll take a short break. You'll have more Trojan base. And MDCC Sports Network. Has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer, delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. The health care at North Central Medical Center has been a godsend in many ways in that it has helped indigenous people here in this area to receive medical treatment. They've done a magnificent job and the hospital had not only attracted clientele from uh, the rural Sunflower County area, but surrounding counties. Mr. Morrow, along with, with Daniel, has done a magnificent job, along with the other staff. Find out why everyone is saying, take me to Rural. We are broad in our area of what we teach. A student can come through and they can go in the mechanical design aspect of it. They can go into the architectural. They can go into the civil and surveying, estimating. Welcome back. Kate Oswald, leading off, popped up over to the right side, just out of, and just in foul territory. Going to be caught there by a Trojan first baseman. That's Alfred Hill making that catch for the Trojans. And, uh, 
Northwest be back up to the top port of their, of their lineup. Jacob Hill at the plate. His second time facing Nash Koska. And two pitches to Hill. He's going to be a hard hit. Hard hit ground ball over to third. It's stopped up by Trojan's third baseman. But unable to make the play over at first. That's a. Uh, Excuse me, I said, uh, Kate Oz Oswalt, I'm on the wrong, for batting for the, just a second ago, that was Kate Oswalt that made that play over at third for the Trojans there, or tried to make the play over at third for the Trojans. Uh, another inside pitch from Koska, gonna hit someone else in the elbow. That was uh, Greer, at, I believe that was Greer at the plate, yeah, center fielder. Hit by pitch, so runners on first and second. Now for Northwest. No outs. Aiden Martin. I have to play with two runners on. First pitch, fastball going to be called a strike on the outside part of the plate. Still over to third. That ball's going to get away from the Trojan catcher. Uh, Carruthers. Looks like it slipped out of his hands as he was trying to. What happened there? I looked a way to change something on the. Uh, And there's an out. Ground ball, second base. Kewen, throw it over to first. Get the hitter over at first, and it does move the runner over to third. So just the runner on third. At the plate. And the third baseman, Leatherwood. It's Cade Leatherwood. He's going to put this one in play. And it's going to be caught out in right field. And that's going to do it for the top half of the third. We'll take a short break as Northwest leaves one on. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NBCC Sports Network. This is probably the sixth or fifth year that we've been heavy into the 3D printing. It is a valuable tool, and it's the wave of the future. You don't have to have an art background. You don't have to have an engineering background. You want to pursue a four-year degree? We've got different avenues for that also. So my spare time, I'm still drawing at home, uh, designing residential homes and commercial buildings. I love what I do, and when I can teach a student to do and love what I do, it makes my day. It's wide open with electrical technology. We start with basic residential wiring. Uh, we start talking about how ACDC works together. And then we go into motor control for our second semester. Then after the first year, we go into pneumatics and hydraulics. Fourth semester, we go into AutoCAD. We go into PLC, Programmable Logic Control. So anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall-mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system. You could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. 
they can make 50, 60 grand starting out. Out of school. Came in. So Trojans back up to the top of the lineup. Foster Mitchell. The fielder for the Trojans. Sophomore out of Oak Grove. Excuse me, Hattiesburg, Oak Grove. Puts this one to play, high fly ball. Shallow left field. That'll be caught there by Craig. Two quick outs at the plate. Number four. Kato. Buddy on two outs. Strikes. Strike one, two balls, one strike for Oswalt. And second at bat facing Sharp and ground ball. Slow roller. Two feet in front of. A few feet away from home plate. Throw over from the catcher for Northwest. That's Ron Colley. Throws a little short. Bounces a couple times in, in front of the Ranger first baseman. So Trojans, not a base runner here. Bottom part of the third with two outs. No. 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 At the plate, the Trojan shortstop, Jacob Brooks. Hard hit foul ball down the left side from Brooks. Balls, one strike here for one strike here for Brooks. Throw over to first. Nothing hurt there. Runner still on first for the Trojans. Side pitch missing just a bit. 3-1. Now for the Trojan shortstop. Be patient at bat here. Oh, that one going to be called strike. Lower part of the strike zone. Full count here for Brooks. Other throw over to first. Three 
balls, two strikes again. And that's gonna be called strike for strike three, I mean for out number three. Looks goes down looking, he thought that one was on the outside part of the plate. So after three, Northwest leading. Two to one, we'll take a short break. Have more Trojan baseball after this. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one. Welcome back. Matthew Ron Colley. At the plate for the Rangers Northwest. Second pitch there gonna be grounded to Trojan shortstop Jacob Brooks. He takes the, he fields it on the run, throws a fadeaway jumper over <laughs> to first base and uh, it's not gonna make it in time, unfortunately. So Northwest has their first base runner here. In the top part of the fourth, a little bit of a ball gets away from Trojan catcher. Drew Gerald. But doesn't get too far away for Ron Colley to move forward over on first at the plate here. Levi Lang. We're number 21. Designated hitter for Northwest. Foul ball to the left side. I believe that's a foul ball. Yeah, it looks like it was off his hand or the bottom of his bat. Making it 2-2 now for freshman designated hitter. Round ball over to third, nice grab. Uh, Trojan third baseman. That was Kate Oswald making the throw over to first. Runner does advance to second. 
one out. Number 11, Tyler Pearson. Up next at the plate for Northwest. Breaking ball there, missing to the inside. Ah, fly ball in center field. Deep fly ball. Tag up at second. Catch going to be caught. I mean, ball going to be caught in center field by Trojan center fielder John Barras. So now two outs. Just the runner on third. I think they're checking on the runner on third is what it looks like here. Let's yeah, they were just checking on the runner on third. Hayes Davis. Ranger first baseman at the plate facing Costca. Bit of a wild pitch. It's going to allow that runner to uh, score from third on the pass ball. Pitch right at Hayes Davis' head, and ball kind of got away from. Nash Costco a little bit. So now 3-1 in the Rangers' favor. Ground ball right over to third. Cleanly fielded by Trojan's third baseman. Kate Oswalt responsible for two of those outs in that inning. Northwest. Finds two run, I mean finds one run in the bot in the top part of the fourth inning. We'll take a short break. Have the bottom half and see if the Trojans can answer. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer, delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. My name is Zach Warrington, pharmacist here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. At Hair Drug Center, we are proud to offer a drive through service, fast free delivery, and a friendly staff. My favorite part about working here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland is our customers. We know them by name and they know us and we take care of them. One thing I think our customers appreciate about us is that we're fast and that's something we strive for is to get people their medication as quickly as possible. For all your medication needs, come to Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. We're here for you. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate technologies. We talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here and I also teach farm machinery and shop management class. With Welcome back, Drew Gerald gonna lead off for the Trojans, the catcher. Here in bottom part of the fourth, Gerald, freshman. Making good contact there, base hit in between third and shortstop. 
So Trojans start out with a base runner here in the bottom part of the fourth. No outs. Thomas Khan at the plate. Shows Bunt, tips that ball. That pitch missing just a bit to the inside. One ball and one strike for Khan. Trojan second baseman. Freshman out of Grenada, Mississippi. This one going to be foul over to the right side, out of play. Now one ball, two strikes for Thomas Kuhn. Just the one runner on in front of him. over to first. One, two pitch. Line drive shot right to second base. Pearson making that catch and trying to throw it over to first, not in a little, sh just a little short, not in time to first. At the plate for the Trojans, Alford Hill, first baseman. Foul ball down the left side. Just off the line down the third baseline. Oh, one pitch. It's going to be a line drive shot, base hit. And for Alford Hill. Runners on first and second for Mississippi Delta. Just one out, a good opportunity here for the Trojans to make something happen. After the base hit from Trojan first baseman, we got at the plate, the designated hitter, Owen Gaden. Of course, Gaden. Laying off that first pitch, freshman out of Senatobia. So Toby, Mississippi, just taking that first pitch. One ball, no strikes. Trojan dugout, really get into it. I love it. And off another pitch to the inside. So two balls, no strikes. Chasing one there. Rolling to the outside. Ground ball, short stop, flip to second base. And Northwest turns two. Big opportunity there for the Trojans. At the bottom part of the fourth inning. But that ground ball. 
and make things easy for Northwest. And we will step aside for just a bit. You're watching Trojan Baseball here on MDCC Sports Network. The background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting. And right now we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. It's very special to me that you can take a seed and plant it in the ground. Financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. Welcome back, 3-1 in Northwest Rangers' favor. Heading into the top part of the fifth. Pitcher for the And that will be Northwest back up to the top part of their batting there. Batting order. Jacob Hill. A short stop. Fouling off first pitch from Nash Koska. It's going to bring to the plate number 16. Cade Greer laying off the first pitch from Koska, going to be called a strike. Cade Greer, Northwest center fielder. Another high fly ball here out in the right field this time. And Trojan right fielder, Q Carruthers, going to be up under that one. So three quick outs, three up, three down. Trojans trailing two, going to the bottom part of the fifth. We'll see what happens. We'll take a short break. Be back after this. You're watching MDC, MDCC Sports Network. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Welcome back, Miss One Pitch there. John Baraha set the plate for Mississippi Delta. Now freshman out of Alexandria, Louisiana. Way 
out in front. Two balls, no strikes here facing Scott Sharp. Made good solid contact here. And shallow, shallow center field. And making the hike all the way near the infield is the Ranger center fielder. That is Greer, number 16, Cade Greer. At the plate now for Mississippi Delta. ASQ Carruthers. Carruthers showing butt. Getting a little ahead of that one. Taking off. Or even making contact there. Oh, no balls on one strike. Or the freshman from Water Valley, Mississippi. High inside pitch going to clip the elbow of the right handed hitter to Q for others. So Trojans. Back up to the top part of their hitting order, the left-hander, Foster Mitchell at the plate. One runner on with no outs. Throw over the first night in time from Scott Sharp. Another throw over to first. Foster Mitchell yet to see a uh, yet to see a pitch. The sad bat from uh, Scott Sharp. He is very concerned with the very speedy Q Carruthers. And Carruthers gonna take bag number two. Now the runner on second for Mississippi, Def uh, Mississippi Delta. As Carruthers. Causing some damage on the bases. Swing and a miss, strike one there to Foster Mitchell, 0-2 count. No balls, two strikes, and just the one out. Runner in scoring position here for the Trojans. Ace hit does good things. Breaking ball to the outside from the lefty Scott Sharp. One ball, two strikes now. Low outside ball two. Two pitch low and outside. I thought her others was going to make a move on that one, but it bounced. Bounced pretty bad for, for him to make a move over to third. As Ron Colley does a good job keeping that ball in front of him. So three balls, two strikes. Top part of the Trojan lineup here. Good chance for the Trojans here. 
And a wall put a runner on. First and second now for Mississippi Delta. The heavy sticks at the plate for the Trojans. Hopefully they can make something happen here. Kate Oswald. Freshman out of Middleton, Mississippi. Facing the lefty sharp. Okay, the Trojan third baseman. Big lead on second. Oswald laying down a bunt. Rolls pretty deep into the grass and then field. Moving the runners over to second and third. Now two outs. Well, that's going to bring to the plate the Trojan shortstop, Jacob Brooks. to the inside, 1-1 one, one count. Low ball two. Inside, ball three. Trojans being very patient here. Last few hitters. Waiting for the perfect opportunity and ball four, loading the bases up. Well, it's two outs. Bases loaded for, for the cleanup hitter for Mississippi Delta. It's Trojan catcher Drew Gerald. Uh, we may have a pitching change or at least a conversation. Out on the heel. Sharp, gonna hang around. For a bit longer here. Base is loaded. Drew Gerald, this could be a uh, momentum changer right here. Base hit. Could do big things for the Trojans. First pitch perfect there from Scott Sharp, the lefty. The outside part of the plate. No balls and a strike. High outside ball one. Some good to see from the Trojans here. Like, like, like I said, the last few at bats been very patient. Hopefully, Drew. Gerald hangs around and does the same thing. Waits for the perfect pitch. Uh, laying off the, man, that one was close. Laying off the outside, maybe a little bit high. Breaking ball from the lefty. Scott Sharp, so two balls, one strike.
Throw over to third. That was a close one. Hugh Carruthers diving back in time, just in time over at third. Throw from Ron Colley, pretty quick. So three balls, one strike. And we're gonna walk one in. That's uh, Carruthers is gonna step on the plate for the Trojans now, three, two. Northwest still in control. Base is still loaded. I was cutting the second baseman for Mississippi Delta. Filing off the first pitch. Ball missing high and to the outside, so one in one going on the board. Final at bat here for the Trojans. It's going to be a slow roller. Second base, easy play over at first. That's Pearson that makes the fields at. And that's going to do it for the fifth inning. Trojans find a run, leave three on. But uh, Rangers still in control, just a little, just, just barely. We'll see what happens. We'll have more Trojan baseball after this. You're watching MDCC Sports Network. North Sunflower Medical Center is proud to serve the Delta with quality health care. We offer cardiology services with Jackson Heart, Swing Bed, Pulmonary Function Studies, Hospice Care, a Surgery Center, a Wound Clinic, senior care, and the Walter B. Crook Nursing Home. I know that sounds like a lot, but we offer even more. Check out NorthSunflower.com for a full list of our services. North Sunflower Medical Center is truly a gem of the Delta. Don't worry about driving too far to receive great care. It's right outside your back door. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruleville. Love the field of study, love refrigeration. It's what I've done basically since I got out of high school, I came right into this same program in this same shop. Well, with HVAC, there's so many different avenues you can take between refrigeration, ice machines, commercial refrigeration, uh, residential heating and air conditioning, commercial heating and air conditioning, and so on and so forth. There's endless opportunities for these guys. Our goal is to have these sophomores placed at a job where after spring break, they don't come back. They're on the job learning and providing for their family. There's nothing better to have a student come back after five or six years to give you their success story. How they went from where they were to where they are now, and I was a part of that. Welcome back. Peyton Martin going to lead things off in... Top part of the sixth inning for Northwest. Left fielder for Northwest, laying off that first pitch from Nash Koska. Foul ball to the left side. Line drive shot into the open gap between left and center field. Base hit there for Peyton Martin, the left fielder for Northwest. Number nine, Cade Leatherwood. At the plate now with the one base runner out in front of him. No outs. 
by the Wood third baseman. Swing and a miss, strike one. Ball's gonna be popped up. Deep on the wall. Gonna be caught by Barajas. He makes a nice little hack, a hike. Uh, Catches that ball right on the warning track in uh, left center field. So now one out, still the runner on first. Catcher Ron Colley at the plate. As Koska throws it over to first, not in time. As Martin gets the big lead, Matthew Roncalli. Laying off the, just slightly to the outside maybe. High fly ball, out of foul ball down the first baseline. One ball, one strike. Poor Ron Colley. Sophomore catcher out of South Tillo, Mississippi. Wow. Something just got bumped over there on first base. Another foul ball out of play. Wind's starting to slow down here a little bit. And as, as you probably can tell at home, a lot quieter. And, Koska throwing over at, uh, at uh, Martin and over at first again. One ball, two strikes. Jamming inside. Inside pitch popped up. Alford Hill going to catch it. Over in the foul territory. Out number two. High inside pitch there. Jam and Ron Colley. Levi Lang at the plate. Nice throwing over to first again. Peyton Martin. Levi Lang laying off the low outside pitch. Pass ball. Runner makes its way. Peyton Martin makes his way over to second. Two balls, no strikes. Breaking ball going to be called a strike there. One pitch coming from Koska. Low outside, and this one's going to be blocked up. I kept it in front of him, but uh, kind of gets away from uh, Drew Gerald there just a bit. Allows the runner to advance to third. Three balls, one strike.
That pitch going to be called a strike. Perfect pitch, fastball there from Ash Koska. Nice pop. Like towards the outside part of the plate. Three two pitch from Koska. Breaking ball fouled down the third base line. And a breaking ball called strike there as he goes down looking. That was Lang that goes down looking and no run scored. Northwest leaves one on. We'll take a short break. Have the bottom half of the sixth inning. After this, Trojans trailing one. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. I am a graduate of Mississippi Delta. I stayed here four years. I took HVAC and I took industrial electricity slash industrial maintenance. I don't get stuck in a rut. That's why I chose industrial maintenance, heating and air, for the simple reason I I'm not stuck in a building all day. I might be wiring up lights at a customer's house today. I might be working on a well motor tomorrow. Then they might want to go to a factory. Then they might want to go work for a welding company. A student will be able to decide what way he wants to go. If they're serious, they can get a job anywhere. Well, I tell them if they have a willingness to learn, I can show them how to get out and get a good job, and they can make all the money they want to. You know, they get top pay when they graduate. For two years, you can make anywhere from $18, $24 an hour, somewhere in that range. I really like when I see a student learn something. That's very rewarding. Precision agriculture essentially is applying crop production inputs on a site-specific basis to reduce waste, increase profit, and maintain the quality of the environment. It's uh, everything from working on the computer and geographic information. Welcome back. Alfred Hill getting a lead off for Mississippi Delta, the Trojan first baseman. Let us see what, if we can get something started here in the bottom part of the sixth inning. Northwest Rangers stick with Scott Sharp on the hill. First pitch. Fouled down the third base side by Alford Hill. Hill facing Hill. Three balls. I mean, excuse me. Three, two. No ball. No balls, one strike. Another foul ball. Same spot almost. From the right-hander, Alfred Hill. I mentioned earlier, it started off as kind of a cool day. Same thing, foul ball. Harder hit. That one out of play. But it's starting to feel pretty good here. Not a perfect day for baseball here in Moorhead, Mississippi. Jimmy Bellapani Baseball Complex, the back part of the campus. Like I said, wind's kind of stabilized. That one's going to be foul deep in the uh, right field corner. Still an 0-2 count. Near, near miss, nearly hit and offered heel there. Just off his shins. Go 
one two pitch from from Hill. And Alford Hill way ahead of that one. Laying off the low pitch. Alford Hill. Good decisions here. To two pitch. Hill. Ball looked a little high and inside. Hill just pulling it down the third baseline foul again. Guarding the plate well. Empire running out of. Not a. Foul ball. That one ball's going to be caught right over, right just out of the view by Ron Colley. So one out, Alford Hill long at bat there. After Hill, Owen Gaden, Trojan designated player at the plate. Inside pitch. Jamming Gaden. It'll be a slow roller right over to second base. Pearson going to be there to field it for Northwest. Left hander number eight. Center fielder John Barajas going to ground out. Right to shortstop. And that's going to do it for the sixth inning. We'll take a short break, have more Trojan baseball after this. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. We look at imagery, do prescription maps, to trapping beavers, to to learning about wild hog control and what the best methods are for that. It's a two year program, so you can get an associate's degree or you can do it in essentially a year and a half if you want to just get the certificate in precision agriculture. And if you would like to continue on to a university with a four year degree, there's a great articulation that we have now with Mississippi State University and also Alcorn. What I enjoy about teaching is taking a student who has never been around welding before, and by the time we're through with them, they're able to go out and get a job and make a living and provide for themselves and their families. Job prospects look good. If you want to get out there and work, the jobs are there. Your range in which you can go basically depends on your work ethic. My class size started as 12 people, two of which are already at work. They've been working for two weeks now. They don't even come to class. They come and take their exam at the end of the year, and they've been getting a paycheck. You can make all the money that you're willing to go out and make. The sky's the limit. Uh, 
They'll come back. Trojans. Gonna bring in some new pitching, J.P. Allen. Gonna take over on the heel as Nash Koska steps out. Facing number 11, this is uh, Tyler Pearson at bat for Northwest. Sophomore out of South Haven, Mississippi. High inside, ball one. Wind coming back just a little bit. Overall, very comfortable day. Not gonna lie, a little bit warm inside the truck. Fix that to open some doors up in here. Uh, that one gets away from JP. Allen and Pearson. A walk on the hit by pitch. That's going to bring to the plate the uh, first baseman for Northwest Hayes Davis. One runner on. Second batter here, J.P. Allen facing. J.P. popping this one up. I mean, excuse me, uh, Hayes popping this one up. Hayes Davis. Sophomore out of Starfield, Mississippi, out of play. No ball, one strike. J.P. Allen throws over to first. And that's Tyler Pearson in the big lead. On the back, off the bag, and eyeball two inside, high and inside. Ball two there from J.P. Allen. High fly ball out in the left field. Actually just in foul territory. Going to be caught there by Trojan left fielder. Foster Mitchell. At the plate now for Northwest. It's going to be Cy Craig. One out. J.P. Allen throwing over. First again, checking on Tyler Pearson. Allen super concerned about Tyler Pearson, so must have had some uh, Allen close there. That pitch is going to be called a strike. First pitch there to Craig. So 0-2 count here for Cy Craig. Yeah. 
breaking ball, trying to see if he went there. And they're going to say he did. So two outs. Two outs with just a runner. Just a runner on first. And uh, Northwest will be back up to the top part of their bat in their hitting order. And a slow roller. This could be trouble. Nope. Nothing, nothing big there. Alford Hill picks it up. Makes the tag. Um, and that will do it for the top half of the seventh inning. Trojans still trailing 3-2. We'll see what happens after this. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Welcome back. Q Carruthers at the plate for the Trojans. Scott Sharp still on the heel for Northwest. Missed one pitch there before that. Swing and a miss this time from Carruthers. No balls, two strikes. Nine hitter. Right fielder Carruthers at the plate. And Carruthers going to be hit by pitch. It's going to be hit on the, uh, I'm, I'm not good at anatomy, but it was like the, uh, it, was, it was below his hand, uh, just above the wrist. Umpire from, umpire behind the plate going to come talk to first base umpire and confirm. Mark Carson, head coach for Northwest out. Talking to umpires. They're, they're going to talk it over. There's an 0-2 count there for um, Carruthers prior to that pitch. Sharp way out in front. It looked from from our batter's eye view. It looked as if that was correct, and I think they're doing. I think that is the right thing. I don't think it hit. I don't think it hit his hand. It did look like it hit just above his wrist a bit on his uh, on his left arm.
Coach Stanley going to talk things over with uh, Kate Oswald. Excuse me. Foster Mitchell. Got Trojans back up the top of the lineup. I don't know why I skipped. Lead off hitter Foster Mitchell there. In my head, the left fielder. Got the runner on first for Mississippi Delta. After the walk. Carruthers. I think it was back in the fifth at Carruthers. Scored for Mississippi Delta. Across the plate and definitely got some speed. Ooh. He's going to take off over to second, and that's Carruthers who takes off, off over to second. And on the throw down over to first, that hurts right there, Trojans. Nobody on now. Foster Mitchell going to ground it right to Rangers' second baseman. Tyler Pearson going to be there to field and make that play. Out number two, nobody on with the Trojan third baseman at the plate. This is Oswald now. Low ball one, first pitch called a strike. One and one here for, actually was swinging a miss on first pitch. Cade O's walked the third baseman for the Trojans. Big at bat here. Trojans need a rally to get things going. Strike two, called a strike on the inside part of the play. One, two count now for O's walk. One two pitch from Sharp. High fly ball to the out of the out of the view of both of those shots. It was caught over by the first base or the visitors dugout. Out number three. So after seven innings, Northwest in control. Three to two. We'll take a short break. You're watching Trojan Baseball here in Moorhead, Mississippi on the MDCC Sports Network. My heart is with the students. We are such a tight-knit group here in Business Office Technology. We just get to know them personally. We get to know them as far as what they want to do with their future to help guide and direct and um, be a part of them. Our students that go the accounting direction will take the same basic core classes that all BOT students take. They also begin to pick up advanced business accounting that the other majors do not. They take payroll accounting, they take income tax accounting, QuickBooks. They all will be able to go and be um, like a payroll clerk, an accounts payable receivable clerk. Some of our students want to go on to the university level, and they can, and they're prepared to go on and get a, a maybe possibly a bachelor's degree in accounting or even get their CPA. Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. 
Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer, delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Uh, welcome back. The hitting order, Northwest. Two, three, four coming up. Cade Greer at the plate. Facing J.P. Allen for the first time who came in after six innings of Costco, Nash Costco pitching. Pitch number two. Going to be fly ball out to right field. Q Carruthers going to be up under it to make the catch. Peyton Martin now at the plate for Northwest. He's going to pop up the first pitch out of play. to the inside, ball one from Trojan pitcher J.P. Allen. One one pitch missing low into the outside from the right hander J.P. Allen. Two one pitch, high fly ball, center field. John Barajas having to run about 10, 15 yards to make the grab for out number two. Leatherwood, sophomore from Collierville, Tennessee. Playing third base in game one for Northwest, taking second pitch. One ball and one strike. Side pitch, get away from Trojan catcher Drew Gerald. Three one pitch going to be just to the outside for JP Allen. So Northwest going to have their first base runner here in the top part of the eighth inning. Matthew Ron Colley. Five in the hitting order. Catcher for Northwest. Fouled straight back. O2 count. Here for the right hand catcher. Swing and a miss, strike three. Allen going to get the strikeout, and that's going to do it for the top half of the eighth inning. Trojans trailing one. Two innings left. See what happens here. More Trojan baseball action. 
after this on the MDCC Sports Network. Are you or a family member in need of rehabilitation? Well, North Sunflower Medical Center can help. Our swing bed program is designed to assist patients who have recently experienced a knee or hip replacement, heart surgery, or an operation that requires further rehabilitation. So if you have been in the hospital for a few days and are not quite ready to go back home, our swing bed program can help you get back to the road to recovery. We provide physical and occupational therapy to help the patient with coordination and mobility. With that said, getting you back to day-to-day -day function is our main goal and we will help you with every step. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Rural Previous to this, I was actually a math major, but I have my own small business. So I like to use those experiences and share those with my students to hopefully inspire them. So in administrative office, you cover all of the Microsoft Office programs. You'll take Microsoft Word 1 and 2, you'll take Excel 1 and 2, and you'll take Microsoft Access. Also, you take business communications, so you learn how to communicate effectively in the business world, and that's so important. One really great benefit to our students is they get to do an externship. So they actually get to go out and shadow and work for a business. So they get those hands-on experiences. They can start off in any entry-level position as far as a payroll clerk goes, an administrative assistant, even possibly a manager of a business. Welcome back. Sharp pitched all seven this four hanging around for the eighth Trojans leading off here with Number six, nope, excuse me. Yep, Jacob Brooks leading off for the Trojans. Fouling off the first pitch, shortstop for the Trojans. Fouling off to left side down the third baseline. High outside pitch, about shoulder height. And that is a Perfect pitch about chest high that Brooks gonna ground to Jacob Heal. The shortstop for Northwest who's gonna make the throw over to first out number one. Now at the plate and next for the Trojans is Drew Gerald, the uh, Trojan catcher. Espen from Monroe, Louisiana. That is going to be called foul ball. Hard hit ball just off the bag. One out. Nobody on for the Trojans of Mississippi Delta. That pitch going to be out of our view. It's going to be just out of play on the right side. Getting about that chest high pitch. Stride sharp, way ahead here. 0-2 pitch. So there's some confusion here whether it, he said it hit him. 
Yeah, don't hesitate. Just head down that way. Act confident about it. And they're going to uh, talk things over. Thomas Kuhn going to be up next for the Trojans, second baseman. If by some chance they send him back to home plate, it'll be a one-two count for Drew Gerald, the catcher for the Trojans, who currently is standing on first base. I couldn't really tell for sure anything. And they are going to send him back to home, home plate. He did kind of hesitate. Uh, like, I can't say for sure. If he would have just taken off down the first baseline, I think uh, everybody. Regardless, the pitch was in the batter's box, and it looked like maybe it could have hit his right knee, which is his back knee for the right-hander. And he's going to fly out. On the next pitch, out in the right field, that ball caught by Peyton Martin, I believe that's his first name. I think I got everything memorized pretty well. Yeah, that's Peyton Martin. The sophomore out of Madison, Mississippi, making that grab for the Rangers of Northwest. Thomas Kuhn, excuse me, Kuhn at the plate. And there's some kind of stoppage in action here as umpire's going to – I apologize. They're going to send somebody else to the plate right here. Let's we'll see what we got. It's going to be number three, Tate Anderson at the plate for the Trojans. That's what they're talking things over about. Coach Stanley's out on the field talking with one of uh, Looks like Coach Stanley talking to one of the umpires there. The, uh, what the conversation's about here. So Tate Anderson, sophomore, coming, in hit, coming in to hit for the Trojans. Out of Batesville, Mississippi. He's a sophomore out of Batesville, Mississippi. His first time facing Scott Sharp today. That pitch is going to be called a strike on the inside part of the plate. Nobody on two outs. Here in the bottom part of the eighth inning. Inside pitch. Jamming Tate Anderson. It's going to be a ground ball right to second base. Pearson, Tyler Pearson going to field it and toss it over to first out number three, and that's going to do it. Going into the ninth inning, Rangers lead 32. We'll have more Trojan baseball after this. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. When I came up, you know, everybody said, go to a four-year college, blah, blah, blah. Really and truly, if I had it to do over again, I would come to a community college and learn a skill. Because skilled labor right now, these guys are the future. They're going to be the ones making the money. 
We do offer a certificate program, a technical certificate program, and an associate's degree out of this program. So there's three career paths that they could take, a one-year, two-year, or take some academics and do an associate's degree. We do an apprentice program and an on-the-job training program through Wynn Job Center with several of our dealers in our area. And I've got dealerships and private guys just beating the door down needing technicians. So this skill right here is something they can carry on through life, they can make a living at. If you know what you're doing, you can make six figures. No problem. That's a lot of money. Welcome back, Levi Lang at the plate. A couple pitches went by while we were on break. Leave it's 1-1 one, one. count. Strike two, one ball, two strikes now. Levi Lang facing J.P. Allen in the top part of the ninth inning. Designated hitter Levi Lang at the plate to start things off in the ninth inning. And the hitting order for the Rangers, they are five, six, seven, excuse me, six, seven, eight. So Lang, six in the batting order. Tyler Pearson on deck. Foul ball down the third base side. Cato's walt over there. Filled it in foul territory. One two pitch from Allen. Big breaking ball. Grounded right over to Oswalt. Fielded cleanly. Perfect throw. Good stretch there by the sophomore from Cleveland, Mississippi on first base, Alford Hill. So one down here in the top part of the ninth inning. Tyler Pearson at the plate now for the Rangers, Northwest Mississippi. Two straight balls thrown from J.P. Allen there. Two zero pitch, high and a bit to the outside. Three balls, no strikes. For the sophomore from South Haven, Mississippi, and. Uh, J.P. Allen going to walk him. Base runner. For the Northwest Rangers. In the top part of the ninth inning. Hayes Davis at the plate. First pitch. Oswalt going to bobble the ball over at third, but going to be, be able to recover, make the throw over to first, and get the, the batter. Runner does make their way over to second. So Pearson over on second now with two outs.
Number four, Cy Craig. At the plate for the Rangers. High ball one, one and one. Cy Craig. Pearson getting his lead at second. Going to take off. Nope. Going to make a big jump on the bag at second. Two balls, one strike. Now for Cy Craig. Drew Gerald doing a good job blocking that ball up, keeping keeping in front of him, keeping uh, Pearson. We're on second, so now got to walk. Ty Craig on first, Ty Pearson on second. Top part of the hitting order for Northwest. Jacob Hill at the plate for the Rangers. Pitch from Allen a little bit high. It's going to be called a strike as Hill lays off of it. Top inside corner of the strike zone where that one would have fallen. And that one's going to be called a strike. So one, two, as J.P. Allen takes control of this. Battle at the plate, the Trojan pitcher. Sophomore. Out of Hernando, Mississippi. Pitch missing just to the outside, even in the count up. Good contact, and it's going to be fielded by the Trojan shortstop. Jacob Brooks, and he's just going to flip it over to second base, and that'll be out number three, and Trojans have to make the move here. See what happens after this final little bit in this ball game. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody. Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909.
Kiki Jackson. I'm the administrator at Walter B. Crook Nursing Facility at North Sunflower Medical Center, and we would love to show you why to make us your home away from home. We're different because we're a long-term care facility with private rooms. We have five courtyards, we have a registered dietitian, and we have the best activities program. We only want to give the best to the Mississippi Delta. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruleville. I've been on heavy equipment my entire life. Yeah, I was nine years old and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile long and left me there for a week and I did it. It's a lot of different pieces of equipment it takes to get the job done. We have backhoes, skid steers, track loaders, bulldozers, motor graders, dump trucks. You need to know all of them and be a master at one or two of them. That way you can fluctuate throughout a construction job site. Construction equipment, it's everywhere. Welcome back. So to close things out here in the bottom part of the ninth, Northwest elects to bring in James Smith. Sophomore from Olive Branch, Mississippi. As Scott Sharps pitched all of game one. James Smith, first batter he's going to face. Looks like Alfred Hill. Trojan first baseman. At the plate, Alfred Hill, 1-1 one, one count. That pitch is going to be called a strike, so one ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss for strike three. Trojans came in in this. This inning in the hitting order, six, seven, eight. Owen Gaden, designated hitter for the Trojan now. Second batter to face, James Smith. Right hander, Molly Branch, Mississippi. Aiden laying off first two pitches, both missing to the outside. Two O pitch coming from James Smith, excuse me. I went off. Owen oh, Gaten, good job laying off that that pitch. That's a tempting pitch. Chest high. Out in front, three balls, one strike. Owen oh, Gaten. That pitch is going to be called a strike. Gaden knew he and should have swung at that one. Three two pitch coming from Smith. Getting rowdy over there in the dugouts. Through strikeout. One out away here for Northwest. Close out game one.
At the plate for the Trojans. Looks to be number 12, Brennan Searles. Sophomore from Monroe, Monroe Louisiana. Coming in here late to hit. Two outs. And Searles gonna put this one in play and it's gonna bounce right off the foot of the shortstop. Hard hit ball there by Brennan Searles, but Jacob Hill gonna bounce right off his foot, pop up in there just about 10, 15 feet up in the air and Trojans just like that have a base runner. Things aren't over with just yet. And Coach Stanley gonna bring in a runner for someone to run for Searles. That's number 28. I believe that's Zach Gorham coming in to run for Brennan Searles. At the plate for the Trojans. Just one second. Uh, let's see who we got. Marshall Weaver. At the plate for Mississippi Delta. Freshman out of Cleveland, Mississippi. Got the runner on first in front of him. For two outs. And a ground ball, that is just foul. No balls, two strikes for Weaver. Third baseman Leatherwood grabbed that one. Trying to get it in play would have been an easy play over at first. That outside pitch from Smith. Right-hander Smith missing just off the outside of the plate. One ball, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Smith throwing another one to the outside. Full count here for Marshall Weaver. Good patience. Is it bad facing? Oh, wow. That's going to be called strike. Weaver thought that was, uh, thought that one missed. And I'll be honest, it looked a little low into the outside. That's, that's tough right there. But close pitch is going to do it for game one. And Trojans fall in game one, three to two to the Rangers at Northwest Community College. So we'll step aside for a little bit, get things reset, and we'll be back in just a bit, probably 30 minutes or so, for game two here on the MDCC Sports Network. See you in a bit. My long-term goal has always been to teach. I had a professor when I was in culinary school that was kind of one of these life-changing guys. 
spent a lot of time and effort with me. Uh, my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you. Whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste of the food, you have to have all three of those aspects together to make a really, really good dish. There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef. Knowledge, skill, taste, judgment, dedication, and pride. And if a student has those six things and follows through with them, they will be wildly successful. Having a dream and following through with that dream is probably one of the most rewarding things that I can have. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. in North Central Medical Center has been a godsend in many ways in that it has helped indigenous people here in this area to receive medical treatment. They've done a magnificent job and the hospital has not only attracted clientele from uh, the rural Sunflower County area, but surrounding the counties. Mr. Morrow along with, with Daniel has done a magnificent job along with the other staff. Find out why everyone is saying, take me to rural. We are broad in our area of what we teach. A student can come through and they can go in the mechanical design aspect of it. They can go into the architectural. They can go into the civil and surveying, estimating. I would say this is probably the sixth or fifth year that we've been heavy into the 3D printing. It is a valuable tool and it's the wave of the future. You don't have to have an art background. You don't have to have an engineering background. You want to pursue a four-year degree? We've got different avenues for that also. So my spare time, I'm still drawing at home, uh, designing residential homes and commercial buildings. I love what I do. And when I can teach a student to do and love what I do, it makes my day. It's wide open with electrical technology. We start with basic residential wiring. Uh, we start talking about how ACDC works together. And then we go into motor control for our second semester. Then after the first year, we go into pneumatics and hydraulics. Fourth semester, we go into AutoCAD. We go into PLC, programmable logic control. 
So anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall-mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system. You could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. They can make 50, 60 grand start now. I have students who are hired before they get out of school. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. My name is Zach Warrington, pharmacist here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. At Hair Drug Center, we are proud to offer a drive through service, fast free delivery, and a friendly staff. My favorite part about working here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland is our customers. We know them by name, and they know us, and we take care of them. One thing I think our customers appreciate about us is that we're fast, and that's something we strive for, is to get people their medication as quickly as possible. For all your medication needs, come to Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. We're here for you. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate technologies. We talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here and I also teach a farm machinery and shop management class. With the technological background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting, and right now we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. It's very special to me that you can take a seed and plant it in the ground and you can see a plant grow and you can see something to harvest from it. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything.
At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. North Sunflower Medical Center is proud to serve the Delta with quality health care. We offer cardiology services with Jackson Heart, Swing Bed, Pulmonary Function Studies, Hospice Care, a Surgery Center, a Wound Clinic, Senior Care, and the Walter B. Crook Nursing Home. I know that sounds like a lot, but we offer even more. Check out NorthSunflower.com for a full list of our services. North Sunflower Medical Center is truly a gem of the Delta. Don't worry about driving too far to receive great care. It's right outside your back door. North Sunflower Medical Center. Take me to Ruleville. Love the field of study, love refrigeration. It's what I've done basically since I got out of high school. I came right into this same program in this same shop. Well, with HVAC, there's so many different avenues you can take between refrigeration, ice machines, commercial refrigeration, uh, residential heating and air conditioning, commercial heating and air conditioning, and so on and so forth. There's endless opportunities for these guys. Our goal is to have these sophomores placed at a job where after spring break, they don't come back. They're on the job learning and providing for their family. There's nothing better to have a student come back after five or six years to give you their success story. How they went from where they were to where they are now, and I was a part of that. I am a graduate of Mississippi Delta. I stayed here four years. I took HVAC and I took industrial electricity slash industrial maintenance. I don't get stuck in a rut. That's why I chose industrial maintenance, heating in there, for the simple reason I'm not stuck in a building all day. I might be wiring up lights at a customer's house today. I might be working on a well motor tomorrow. Then they might want to go to a factory. Then they might want to go work for a welding company. A student will be able to decide what way he wants to go. If they're serious, they can get a job anywhere. Well, I tell them if they have a willingness to learn, I can show them how to get out and get a good job, and they can make all the money they want to. You know, they get top pay when they graduate. For two years, you can make anywhere from $18, $24 an hour, somewhere in that range. I really like when I see a student learn something. That's very rewarding. Precision agriculture essentially is applying crop production inputs on a site-specific basis to reduce waste, increase profit, and maintain the quality of the environment. It's uh, everything from working on the computer and geographic information systems, how we look at imagery, do prescription maps, to trapping beavers, to, to learning about wild hog control and what the best methods are for that. It's a two-year program, so you can get an associate's degree or you can do it in essentially a year and a half if you want to just get the certificate in precision agriculture. If you would like to continue on to a university with a four-year degree, there's a great articulation that we have now with Mississippi State University and also Alcorn. What I enjoy about teaching is 
taking a student who has never been around welding before, and by the time we're through with them, they're able to go out and get a job and make a living and provide for themselves and their families. Job prospects look good. If you want to get out there and work, the jobs are there. Your range in which you can go basically depends on your work ethic. My class size started as 12 people, two of which are already at work. They've been working for two weeks now. They don't even come to class. They come and take their exam at the end of the year, and they've been getting a paycheck. You can make all the money that you're willing to go out and make. The sky's the limit. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! My heart is with the students. We are such a tight-knit group here in Business Office Technology. We just get to know them personally. We get to know them as far as what they want to do with their future to help guide and direct and um, be a part of them. Our students that go the accounting direction will take the same basic core classes that all BOT students take. They also begin to pick up advanced business accounting that the other majors do not. They take payroll accounting, they take income tax accounting, QuickBooks. They all will be able to go and be um, like a payroll clerk, an accounts payable receivable clerk. Some of our students want to go on to the university level and they can, and they're prepared to go on and get a, a maybe possibly a bachelor's degree in accounting or even get their CPA. Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Are you or a family member in need of rehabilitation? Well, North Sunflower Medical Center can help. Our swing bed program is designed to assist patients who have recently experienced a knee or hip replacement, heart surgery, or an operation that requires further rehabilitation. So if you have been in the hospital for a few days and are not quite ready to go back home, our swing bed program can help you get back to the road to recovery. We provide physical and occupational therapy to help the patient with coordination and mobility. With that said, getting you back to day-to-day -day function is our main goal and we will help you with every step. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to rule. Previous to this, I was actually a math major, but I have my own small business. So I like to use those experiences and share those with my students to hopefully inspire them 
So in administrative office, you cover all of the Microsoft Office programs. You'll take Microsoft Word 1 and 2, you'll take Excel 1 and 2, and you'll take Microsoft Access. Also, you take business communications, so you learn how to communicate effectively in the business world, and that's so important. One really great benefit to our students is they get to do an externship, so they actually get to go out and shadow and work for a business, so they get those hands-on experiences. They can start off in any entry-level position as far as a payroll clerk goes, an administrative assistant, even possibly a manager of a business. When I came up, you know, everybody said, go to a four-year college, blah, blah, blah. Really and truly, if I had it to do over again, I would come to a community college and learn a skill because skilled labor right now, these guys are the future. They're gonna be the ones making the money. We do offer a certificate program, a technical certificate program, and an associate's degree out of this program. So there's three career paths that they could take. A one year, two year, or take some academics and do an associate's degree. We do an apprentice program and an on-the-job training program through Wynn Job Center with several of our dealers in our area. And I've got dealerships and private guys just beating the door down needing technicians. So this skill right here is something they can carry on through life. They can make a living at. If you know what you're doing, you can make six figures. No problem. That's a lot of money. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Kiki Jackson, I'm the administrator at Walter B. Crook Nursing Facility at North Sunflower Medical Center, and we would love to show you why to make us your home away from home. We're different because we're a long-term care facility with private rooms. We have five courtyards, we have a registered dietitian, and we have the best activities program. We only want to give the best to the Mississippi Delta. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruleville. I've been on heavy equipment my entire life. Yeah, I was nine years old and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile long and left me there for a week and I did it. It's a lot of different pieces of equipment it takes to get the job done. We have backhoes, kid steers, track loaders, bulldozers, motor graders, dump trucks. You need to know all of them and be a master at one or two of them. That way you can fluctuate throughout a construction job site. 
construction equipment, it's everywhere. My long-term goal has always been to teach. I had a professor when I was in culinary school that was kind of one of these life-changing guys. Spent a lot of time and effort with me. Uh, my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you. Whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste of the food, you have to have all three of those aspects together to make a really, really good dish. There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef. Knowledge, skill, taste, judgment, dedication, and pride. And if a student has those six things and follows through with them, they will be wildly successful. Having a dream and following through with that dream is probably one of the most rewarding things that I can have. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. in North Central Medical Center has been a godsend in many ways in that it has helped indigenous people here in this area to receive medical treatment. They've done a magnificent job and the hospital has not only attracted clientele from uh, the rural Sunflower County area, but surrounding counties. Mr. Morrow along with, with Daniel has done a magnificent job along with the other staff. Find out why everyone is saying, take me to rural. We are broad in our area of what we teach. A student can come through and they can go in the mechanical design aspect of it. They can go into the architectural. They can go into the civil and surveying, estimating. I would say this is probably the sixth or fifth year that we've been heavy into the 3D printing. It is a valuable tool and it's the wave of the future. You don't have to have an art background. You don't have to have an engineering background. You want to pursue a four-year degree? We've got different avenues for that also. So my spare time, I'm still drawing at home, uh, designing residential homes and commercial buildings. I love what I do. And when I can teach a student to do and love what I do, it makes my day. It's wide open with electrical technology. We start with basic residential wiring, 
Uh, we start talking about how ACDC works together. And then we go into motor control for our second semester. Then after the first year, we go into pneumatics and hydraulics. Fourth semester, we go into AutoCAD. We go into PLC, Programmable Logic Control. So anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall-mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system. You could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. They can make 50, 60 grand starting out. I have students who are hired before they get out of school. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. My name is Zach Warrington, pharmacist here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. Hair Drug Center, we are proud to offer a drive through service, fast free delivery, and a friendly staff. My favorite part about working here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland is our customers. We know them by name and they know us and we take care of them. One thing I think our customers appreciate about us is that we're fast and that's something we strive for is get people their medication as quickly as possible. For all your medication needs, come to Hair Drug Center in Cleveland, we're here for you. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate technologies. We talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here and I also teach a farm machinery and shop management class. With the technological background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting. And right now we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. It's very special to me that you can take a seed and plant it in the ground and you can see a plant grow and you can see something to harvest from it. Welcome back. Game two about to get underway here in Moorhead, Mississippi. Trojans going to start things off pitching here. Colby Lafayette on the hill for the Trojans. A sophomore out of Water Valley, Mississippi. Hitting order 
Jacob Hill start. Uh, we'll lead things off for the Rangers of Northwest here in game two, the shortstop for the Rangers fouling that one off down the third base side. So one ball, one strike for the sophomore. He's going to pop this one up. High fly ball to the right side. Trojans first baseman. Hiking about 25 yards to make the uh, catch and foul territory. Out number one. Number 16. I believe it's Cade Greer, center fielder for Northwest. And Lafayette going to feel that ball as it's hit right back to him. Out number two, two quick outs for the Trojans here in game two. Of course, Trojans losing game one, three to two. So we went into all nine innings. Up next at the plate for the Rangers, Peyton Martin. Pretty much same hitting order so far. For Northwest here in game two. Martin again, the right fielder. Sophomore out of Madison, Mississippi. It's going to be called a strike. I would call a strike. Three balls, two strikes. And that one's going to be called strike. And that'll do it for the first inning. Three up, three down. Quick work there from Colby Lafayette on the hill for the Trojans. We'll take a short break, break and have the bottom half of the first inning. Here in Moorhead, Mississippi, you are watching the MDCC Sports Network. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. Welcome back. Wow. 
Number five, Gavin McCoy. Gonna be pitching here in game two for Northwest. First batter he will be facing for the Trojans. Be number 20, 21, the left fielder. Foster Mitchell. Sophomore out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Lefty. First pitch in game two, thrown to the Trojans. Going to miss low to the inside just a bit. One ball, no strikes. And a ground ball deep into the infield. Kind of pushes the Rangers shortstop back just a bit. Jacob Hill able to take a few steps back and field the ball and make the throw over to first in plenty of time. And now at the plate, Cato's walk for the Trojans. With one out. Here in the bottom part of the first. And off the inside pitch, two balls and one strike. A pitch, I guess, missing just a little bit to the inside. Three balls and one strike now for Kada Oswalt, the third baseman for the Trojans, and he is going to be very patient, lay off. Pitches just to the inside of the plate, and that's going to bring to the plate for the Trojans, Jacob Brooks. Sophomore out of New Albany, Mississippi. Short stop. Game one and two for the Trojans. High ball one from right-hander McCoy. Pitch number two fouled off. By Jacob Brooks. One ball, one strike. Brooks, Brooks batting. Three in the hitting order. Of course, the runner over on first after the walk. Right four in Cato's walk. Tip, strike two. One ball, two strikes. One two pitch from McCoy. Solid contact, out of play. Foul ball on the right side. Chest high, just about, just a little bit outside. One, two pitch. Ground ball right to second base. Rangers turn two. Flip it to second base and throw down to one. That's going to do it for the first inning. We're scoreless after one. We'll take a short break. Have more Trojan baseball after this. Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Canon. Visit us at Canon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Canon deal. Nobody.
warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. North Sunflower Medical Center is proud to serve the Delta with quality health care. We offer cardiology services with Jackson Heart, Swing Bed, Pulmonary Function Studies, Hospice Care, a Surgery Center, a Wound Clinic, Senior Care, and the Walter B. Crook Nursing Home. I know that sounds like a lot, but we offer even more. Check out NorthSunflower.com for a full list of our services. North Sunflower Medical Center is truly a gem of the Delta. Don't worry about driving too far to receive great care. It's right outside your back door. North Sunflower Medical Center. Take me to Ruleville. Welcome back, Colby Fayat. Pitching for the Trojans here, game two. Three, up, three down in the first inning. Cade Leatherwood. Seeing if we can break that streak for the Rangers. Swing and a miss, first pitch. From Lafayette. Under the wood, the, tr the Rangers' third baseman. One ball and a strike. Face in Lafayette. Hard hit ball. Base hit. And Northwest will have their first base runner here in game two. Base hit right between third base and shortstop. Solid hit ball. Matthew Ron Colley at the plate now for the Rangers. Ron Colley designated here here in game two. Ron Colley caught for Northwest in game in game one. See the wind picking picking back up just a bit. Lafayette throwing over to first. Trying to control that big lead that Leatherwood has off the bag. Breaking ball catches inside part of the plate. So one, two. Count for Ron Colley. It's just off the plate. On the outside part of the plate to the right hander, Ron Colley, fouled away. Two pitch is going to be just fouled on the third base side as still one two count. Breaks a little bit to the outside on the right-hander. Ron Colley even up the count, 2-2. Two, two. He just watches that one pass by. Two balls, two strikes.
pass ball. Leatherwood gonna make his way over to second. As that ball gets passed, Drew Gerald, Trojan catcher. Foul ball. Remains a 3-2 count. Here for Ron Colley. Another foul ball as Ron Colley reaches for it. Out in the other batter's box. Waiting for the other ball to come back as it stays inside the fence. So three balls, two strikes. We had bat here for Ron Colley. In the top part of the second inning. No outs. Runner in scoring position for Northwest. Ground ball to shortstop. Throwing over to first, so Trojans get the runner on first. Good clean play there by Jacob Brooks. Leatherwood makes his way over to third. At the plate, it's going to be Tyler Pearson. Second baseman for Northwest. Just one out. Good position here for Northwest to get runs. Get a run on the board here in game two. High fly ball out in the right field, and that could do it. And that is going to be in foul territory, but caught. And a tag up from third, Leatherwood going to score. So Northwest on the board here first in game two. Hayes Davis now at the plate for Mississippi Delta, I mean for Northwest. Hayes batting seven in the hitting order. Playing first base for Northwest. Taking the first pitch. Missing to the outside a bit. Money on the bag, two outs. Three balls and a strike. Four, Hayes Davis. Full count. And that one's fouled out of play. Side pitch, 
Push down the first baseline, foul. Pitch from Lafayette misses just to the outside, so another base runner for Northwest in the top of the second. Austin bats. That's the left-hander. Play in catcher. Here in game two for Northwest. Freshman from Cleveland, Mississippi. Taking pitch one. Looks like it was called strike. Alwin missing to the inside, I mean to the outside on the lefty. Pitch one was tight on the inside. And I thought uh, the board may be behind, so it may be maybe two balls, no strikes. Throw over to first. Fayette. One one count. For the catcher bats. Land off another outside pitch. And a ground ball. It's going to be a base hit. Four bats. In between. Kato. Kate Oswalt and uh, Jacob Brooks, the Trojan shortstop and third baseman. So runners on first and second for Northwest. First pitch. Fouled out of play. As you can hear, probably hear them screaming out as Cade Oswalt thought he might could make a play on it. Cy Craig at the plate, left fielder for Northwest. Two balls, one strike. Rangers deep in their hitting order. Roll back around to Jacob Hill. Top part of their hitting order after this. Big break on that ball from Colby Lafayette. School board showing two balls and two strikes. Ooh, LaFay, I thought he had him there. Big breaker. May have ended up a little bit to the outside on the left-hander. Cy Craig. Ball out of play. Over on the right side. Three, two, full count. High outside, ball four. Loading the bases. As 
Martinez. Northwest rolls back up to the top part of their hitting order. Shortstop Jacob Hill. Round ball right over to third. Cato's walk. Good grab over to third base, just stepping on the bag. Out number three. So Northwest leaves three on. Scores one in the top part of the second inning to go out in front. We'll take a short break, see if the Trojans can answer in the bottom half of the second inning. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. Love the field of study, love refrigeration. It's what I've done basically since I got out of high school. I came right into this same program in this same shop. Well, with HVAC, there's so many different avenues you can take between refrigeration, ice machines, commercial refrigeration, uh, residential heating and air conditioning, commercial heating and air conditioning, and so on and so forth. There's endless opportunities for these guys. Our goal is to have these sophomores placed at a job where after spring break, they don't come back. They're on the job learning and providing for their family. There's nothing better to have a student come back after five or six years to give you their success story. How they went from where they were to where they are now, and I was a part of that. I am a graduate of Mississippi Delta. I stayed here four years. I took HVAC and I took industrial electricity slash industrial maintenance. I don't get stuck in a rut. That's why I chose industrial maintenance, heating and air, for the simple reason I don't, I'm not stuck in a building all day. I might be wiring up lights at a customer's house today. I might be working on a well motor tomorrow. Then they might want to go to a factory. Then they might want to go work for a welding company. A student will be able to decide what way he wants to go. If they're serious, they can get a job anywhere. Well, I tell them if they have a willingness to learn, I can show them how to get out and get a good job, and they can make all the money they want to. You know, they get top pay when they graduate. For two years, you can make anywhere from $18, $24 an hour, somewhere in that range. I really like when I see a student learn something. That's very rewarding. Welcome back. Drew Gerald filing off the first pitch. Trojan catcher here in game one and two. Freshman out of Monroe, Louisiana. And first time facing McCoy. Inside pitch as Gerald has to step out and uh, make contact with it, pops it up, out of play. No balls, two strikes. Just outside. And swing and a miss, four strike three, out number one. And bottom part of the second inning. At the plate. So 
Sorry, just one second. Number three, Thomas Cunn. Thomas Cunn, the second baseman for the Trojans. Sorry about that. And Trojan second baseman Cunn get a, get a base hit out into right field. Gonna land just right into the grass in the outfield between first base and second base. That's gonna bring to the plate Trojan first baseman Alford Heel. Alfred Hill. Sophomore. Cleveland, Mississippi. To a pitch from McCoy. Gonna be popped up, it's gonna be out of play. But now two balls, one strike. For the sophomore first baseman. ball low from McCoy making it 3-1. Blocked up. Well by Ranger catcher. Austin Bats. Three balls, one strike. Bats. <laughs> well, he was out at second, but he wasn't out at second. That's a steal. It wasn't a steal, I mean, there was a walk. So, so at the plate now for the Trojans. After Alford Hills walk, Owen Gaden, designated player. Gaden gonna take the first pitch. Gonna foul off the second pitch. Just to the outside for the right hander, Gaden. Runners on first and second and just one out. Popped up. And it's going to be caught in foul territory. Both runners going to advance for Mississippi Delta. Gaden going to fly out. 
Alfred Hill on second. Thomas Cunn on third. Two outs. Left-hander, center fielder for the Trojans gonna be at the plate. As John Baraja. Batting for the Trojans. Base hit right here, scores two runs for the Trojans. With two outs, deep in their hitting order. Good piece, good sound there off the bat, but a high fly ball out into right field, gonna be easy catch for Northwest. That's Peyton Martin, makes that catch, and that's going to do it for second inning. Trojans leave two on. After two innings, Northwest leading in game two. We'll take a short break. Uh, more Trojan baseball after this. Precision Agriculture essentially is applying crop production inputs on a site-specific basis to reduce waste, increase profit, and maintain the quality of the environment. It's uh, everything from working on the computer and geographic information systems, how we look at imagery, do prescription maps, to trapping beavers, to, to learning about wild hog control and what the best methods are for that. It's a two-year program, so you can get an associate's degree or you can do it in essentially a year and a half if you want to just get the certificate in precision agriculture. And if you would like to continue on to a university with a four-year degree, there's a great articulation that we have now at Mississippi State University and also Alcorn. Welcome back. In the hitting order, Northwest starting inning three, two, three, four. Cade Greer gonna lead things off. He's gonna put the first pitch into play. And Kate Oswalt gonna make a little bit of a low throw where Alford Hills has to reach for it. Good stretch there by Hill. Gonna result in out number one at the plate. Now the right fielder. Peyton Martin. Martin filing off the first pitch, taking the second pitch. I was in misses a little bit low. One ball and a strike. Wanted to swing at that one. Ask if you went. Thought it was a strike either way. Maybe a little bit to the outside. Swing and a miss for strike two, evens it up. Two two pitch gets away from Lafayette. All slipped, slipped right out of his hand, hit a few feet out in front of him. Full count. Three balls, two strikes here to the right-hander. And that one's gonna miss Lowe to the outside. And as Cade Leatherwood steps up to the plate. Right-hander playing third base. 
for Northwest. Out of Collierville, Tennessee. First pitch from Lafayette missing to the outside a good bit. Runner gone. Nice throw there. Just a little late. Perfect, perfect throw. Very nice throw by Trojan catcher. Drew Gerald just not quite in time. Perfect placement. Two balls, no strikes for Leatherwood. A runner on second, now for Northwest. Three balls and a strike for Kay Leatherwood. Row two second. One pitch from Lafayette fouled off by Leatherwood straight back. A full count now for Leatherwood. Here's the pitch breaking ball. Going to miss to the inside. That'll put runners now on the corners for Northwest. And we'll see Matthew Ron Colley. Up next for Northwest, but uh, Coach Stanley going to come out and talk to Col Colby Lafayette on the heel. Right, and we're going to get a pitch and change. And we'll looks like number four. No, never mind. We're not going to get a pitch and change. He's just bringing everybody in. Runners on the corners. Just the one out. Ryan Colley. He's designated hitter for Northwest in game two. Trojans in a little bit of a jam here, starting things out in the top part of the third inning. Trailing one. Over to first from Fayette. Scary throw over to first. Ah, 
high fly ball. Runner gonna tag up from third. Gonna be cut off by Alford Hill around the pitcher's mound. Sack fly there. Scores a run. For, North for Northwest. That's gonna bring Tyler Pearson, number 11. To the plate. Sophomore from South Haven, Mississippi. First pitch, hard hit ball. Very close to the fence. Gotta be a base hit, may have even hit, hit the bottom of the fence. Tyler Pearson, the second baseman for the, right-handed second baseman for the uh, Rangers. With the hard hit, base hit out to left field, just off the wall. So runners again on the corners for Northwest. Davis Hayes, excuse me, Hayes Davis at the plate. I actually knew a Davis Hayes, so it's confusing to me when I, every time I see that name, I have to deconstruct that in my head. Ooh, throw to first nearly in time. I thought he had him that time. Two to nothing. Again, checking that runner over at first. Breaking ball to the outside, gonna miss just a bit. Right-handed first baseman. Batting here for the Rangers in Northwest. 1-1 one, one count, Lafayette, pitch swing and a miss too from Hay, uh, Hayes Davis. Two down. Another throw over to first. One ball, two strikes still. Breaking ball missing to the outside. Good bit low. Even the count up 2-2. Two, two. And swinging him in strike three. And that's going to do it for the top half of the second inning. Northwest leaving two runners on, but finding a run off of a, sac a sacrifice fly. I believe that was Pearson who, who did that. But anyway, we'll step aside for a bit. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. What I enjoy about teaching is taking a student who has never been around with them before, and by the time we're through with them, they're able to go out and get a job and make a living and provide for themselves and their families. Job prospects look good. If you want to get out there and work, the jobs are there. Your range in which you can go basically depends on your work ethic. My class size started as 12 people, two of which are already at work. They've been working for two weeks now. They don't even come to class. They come and take their exam at the end of the year, and they've been getting a paycheck. You can make all the money that you're willing to go out and make. The sky's the limit. MDCC has your college experience close to home. 
a quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. Welcome back. Two nothing ball game. Bottom part of the third inning. Trojans deep in their hitting order. I believe this is number two. Right fielder Q Carruthers. Yep. Line drive right over to first base. Hayes Davis. They're going to make the catch. Trojans back up to the top part of their hitting order. Foster Mitchell. At the plate for Mississippi Delta. Low inside ball two. I pitch call strike. The heat there from Gavin McCoy. Oh wow! Nice grab. As uh, pitcher Gavin McCoy turns his, as he's turning his back, catches it, or stops the ground ball, coming right at his head, throws it over to first. Out number two, quick outs there. Trojan third baseman, right-hander, Cade Oswalt. At the plate, swing and a miss. Strike one, laying off the first pitch called ball. One one count here for the freshman from Nettleton. Pitch number three, Oswalt. Missing low into the inside. Th two balls, one strike. Wind picking up there pretty heavily. High ball three. All four, so Trojans get a base runner. With two outs in the bottom part of the third inning. And that's gonna bring Jacob Brooks, the Trojan shortstop. To the plate. High outside, first pitch from McCoy. Ad ball is going to be popped up out of play straight back. Chin high pitch right down the middle. High bouncing ball right over to first base. Hayes Davis. Grab it and just step on the bag, out number three. And that's going to do it for the th third inning. Trojans trailing two. We'll be back in just a bit. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. 
That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Canon. Visit us at Canon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Canon deal. Nobody! My heart is with the students. We are such a tight-knit group here in Business Office Technology. We just get to know them personally. We get to know them as far as what they want to do with their future to help guide and direct and um, be a part of them. Our students that go the accounting direction will take the same basic core classes that all BOT students take. They also begin to pick up advanced business accounting that the other majors do not. They take payroll accounting, they take income tax accounting, QuickBooks. They all will be able to go and be um, like a payroll clerk, an accounts payable receivable clerk. Some of our students want to go on to the university level and they can, and they're prepared to go on and get a, a maybe possibly a bachelor's degree in accounting or even get their CPA. Welcome back, Ranger Catcher. Austin Bats, freshman from Cleveland, Mississippi. Left-hander facing Lafayette. Even 1-1 one, one count until that swing and a miss. A little outside pitch. bit of a half swing there, or a quarter swing. Even the count up, low outs, again another low outside pitch, bouncing in the dirt, so two balls, two strikes. That pitch, high into the outside now, three, two count. That's going to tip that one. Remain 3-2 count. First batter here for Northwest here in, in the top of the fourth inning. Breaking ball called a strike. All over the center part of the plate. Bats going to go down looking. That's going to bring to the plate now for Northwest. I believe that's left fielder, Cy si Craig. Fouls off that first pitch uh, as he pulls that high inside pitch down the first base line. Ground ball right to second base. Or just off of second baseman Thomas Kahn. Could make a play on it. He, as you can see, slid in the dirt just a bit. So, Cy Craig with a base hit. And that's just in time for Jacob Hill. Top of the hitting order. Or Northwest. So no balls and a strike. Two for the right handed. Short stop. Oh. 
Runner going to second. Great throw, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Drew Gerald, Trojan catcher. Guns him out at second. Nobody on now for Northwest. Two outs, one two pitch. Foul ball out of play. Foul ball. Going to roll to the bricks. Over towards the uh, home dugout side. One, two. Remains one, two. Jacob Hill going to put this one in play. High fly ball. Shallow left field. Trojans left fielder. Foster Mitchell going to be up under it. Out number three. Still two to nothing. We'll be back in a bit. Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer, delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Are you or a family member in need of rehabilitation? Well, North Sunflower Medical Center can help. Our swing bed program is designed to assist patients who have recently experienced a knee or hip replacement, heart surgery, or an operation that requires further rehabilitation. So if you have been in the hospital for a few days and are not quite ready to go back home, our swing bed program can help you get back to the road to recovery. We provide physical and occupational therapy to help the patient with coordination and mobility. With that said, getting you back to day-to-day -day function is our main goal, and we will help you with every step. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Rural. And welcome back. Trojan catcher, Drew Gerald. Going to start things off for the Trojans in the bottom, bottom half of the fourth inning. Taking the first pitch from Gavin McCoy. He's going to catch the outside part of the plate called a strike. Foul ball out of play. O2 pitch swing and a miss. Strike out. Now number one. Thomas Kung. At the play for the Trojans. Pops this one up. And it will be caught by Northwest Rangers second baseman, Tyler Pearson. Next, the right-hander from Cleveland, Mississippi for the Trojans. Number 22, Alford Hill. Alford Hill going to lay off that first pitch, and it's going to be called a strike. Again, outside corner of the plate. Ground ball again to Tyler Peterson. 
He's going to flip it over to first. Three up, three down. So after four, Northwest up 2 nothing. We'll be back in a bit. You're watching MDCC Sports Network. Previous to this, I was actually a math major, but I have my own small business. So I like to use those experiences and share those with my students to hopefully inspire them. So in administrative office, you cover all of the Microsoft Office programs. You'll take Microsoft Word 1 and 2, you'll take Excel 1 and 2, and you'll take Microsoft Access. Also, you take business communications, so you learn how to communicate effectively in the business world, and that's so important. One really great benefit to our students is they get to do an externship, so they actually get to go out and shadow and work for a business, so they get those hands-on experiences. They can start off in any entry-level position as far as a payroll clerk goes, an administrative assistant, even possibly a manager of a business. When I came up, you know, everybody said go to a four-year college, blah, blah, blah. Really and truly, if I had it to do over again, I would come to a community college and learn a skill because skilled labor right now, these guys are the future. They're gonna be the ones making the money. Welcome back. Fayette, and around on the heel for the Trojan start in the top part of the fifth inning. First person he'll see I believe this is Cade Greer, center fielder for Northwest at the plate. That pitch is going to be called a strike. Lower part, lower outside corner of the strike zone. That ball is going to be popped up over to the right side. Just out of our view there. No catch going to be made. One ball, two strikes. Off in the distance, I can hear the Law Enforcement Training Academy over here at Mississippi Delta Community College. Doing their chances, they're making their way across campus and making their way over here to the baseball field or behind the baseball field. They might be headed over here to the shooting range back behind the baseball field. So if you start hearing that and hearing a little bit, don't be alarmed, we're all safe. High fly ball out in the right field. Catch gonna be made by a Trojan right fielder. Q Carruthers. So two outs, two quick outs. I mean, excuse me, one out. Peyton Martin. I don't know why I'm getting ahead of myself there. Just a long at bat there. High fly ball here. Shallow. Super shallow in uh, right field. Thomas Cunn, the Trojan second baseman. Going to make the catch in shallow right field. Leatherwood at the plate. Going to take the first pitch as it misses a bit to the outside. Sophomore from Collierville, Mississippi. Excuse me, Tennessee. Been saying Mississippi too much today. Gotten too used to it. Big breaking ball there from Lafayette. Leatherwood lays off of it. Going to miss a bit to the inside. This, this breaking ball going to miss to the outside. Two balls and a strike. 
With two outs, nobody on for Northwest. And another big breaking pitch there by Lafayette. Uh, evens the count up. Right-hander facing the right-hander. Hard hit ball, base hit. Out in the right field. Leatherwood, Kate Leatherwood, the, tr the uh, Ranger third baseman. D.H. Ron Colley. Now at the plate, Ron Colley. Playing off the first pitch to get again a bit to the outside. I mean, in, inside. We'll get it right eventually. Tips the second pitch as it breaks. Heavy low into the outside, 1-1 one, one count. This pitch from fastball from Fayette missing just to the outside. Swing and a miss from Ron Colley, strike two, evens it out. Low outside ball three. So full count. Line drive shot center field. Trojan center field fielder John Barajas gonna. Make the easy catch. And that's going to do it for the top half of the fifth inning. Northwest leaves one on off of one hit. We'll take a short break and be back for the bottom half of the fifth after this. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. A certificate program, a technical certificate program, and an associate's degree out of this program. So there's three career paths that they could take, a one-year, two-year, or take some academics and do an associate's degree. We do an apprentice program and an on-the-job training program through Wynn Job Center with several of our dealers in our area. And I've got dealerships and private guys just beating the door down needing technicians. So this skill right here is something they can carry on through life, they can make a living at. If you know what you're doing, you can make six figures. No problem. That's a lot of money. Welcome back. Owen Gaden. Just a few pitches there from him, but uh, he, after I think on the fourth pitch, he's going to ground it right to shortstop. Jacob Hill. And he's going to throw it over to first out number one. It's going to bring the Trojan center fielder. Left-hander John Arahas. Who made that catch out in center field just right before the break. Fouling off the first pitch. 
Back behind him. Of course, the left-hander. Hard hit ball here. He popped up high. Deep over in right field. It's going to be caught. That's Peyton Martin. That makes that catch. Got it, somebody different here. I think this is Brennan Searles at the plate for the Trojans. Sophomore out of Monroe, Louisiana, right hander. Wild pitch from McCoy. Second pitch, Searles is going to put in play and ground it. About five feet off of the second base bag. Towards the shortstop, and Jacob Hill going to field it and throw it over the first cleanly. And that's going to do it for the sixth inning. Still 2 nothing ball game. We'll be back in a bit. At Cannon Motors or Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Tyler Pearson, number 11, going to lead things off for Northwest in the top part of the sixth inning. First pitch going to be popped up out of play to the left side. Northwest in their hitting order. Pearson batting sixth. On deck, seven. Hayes Davis. And then after that, catcher Austin Bats. So six, seven, oh, excuse me. So yeah, six, seven, eight in the hitting order. Right now, two balls and a strike for Tyler Pearson. Right hander. If you're just joining us tight, got a high fly ball. Short, short, uh, shallow, shallow center field. Thomas Gunn gonna be there. Make the catch. Out number one. I was about to say, just if you're just joining us, pitcher. Uh, Colby Lafayette, been in here all of game two. Had a pretty solid game so far. Here he's facing Hayes Davis. He plays first base for the Rangers, sophomore out of Starkville, Mississippi. 
No balls and two strikes. Just the one out. That pitch missing just barely to the outside. Would have been a hard one for me to lay off of. That should have been a strike either way, whether he swung or not. Maybe, maybe to a bit to the outside. I think I heard Coach Stanley say something very similar. And a ground ball right to Trojan shortstop. Jacob Brooks, and he throws it over to first. Easy out number two. Routine play. Uh, Jacob Brooks. And that's going to bring us to left-hander. Austin Bats at the plate with two outs. Laying off the first pitch. So Paul one. Big break to the inside. A pitch from Lafayette at swing and a miss. And Lafayette gonna run over to first on the ball bouncing seven, eight feet high. Over to first baseman, Alford Hill, and Alford Hill going to just toss it right over to Trojan pitcher Lafayette, out number 40. We'll see if the Trojans can get something going. As so far, Gavin McCoy has thrown a shutout here in game two. Going into the bottom of the sixth inning. We'll take a short break. We'll be back after this on the MDCC Sports Network. Kiki Jackson, I'm the administrator at Walter B. Crook Nursing Facility at North Sunflower Medical Center, and we would love to show you why to make us your home away from home. We're different because we're a long-term care facility with private rooms. We have five courtyards, we have a registered dietitian, and we have the best activities program. We only want to give the best to the Mississippi Delta. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruleville. I've been on heavy equipment my entire life. Yeah, I was nine years old and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile long and left me there for a week and I did it. It's a lot of different pieces of equipment it takes to get the job done. We have backhoes, skid steers, track loaders, bulldozers, motor graders, dump trucks. You need to know all of them and be a master at one or two of them. That way you can fluctuate throughout a construction job site. Construction equipment, it's everywhere. Welcome back. Trojans at the top of the hitting order. The left fielder, Foster Mitchell, going to start things off in the bottom part of the sixth inning. Kato's Walt on deck, third baseman Jacob Brooks. After that, Foster Mitchell filing that one out of play. One ball, one strike. Here facing Gavin McCoy. Tip for strike two. Woo. In deep, deep in the dugout, it sounded like. Still one ball, two strikes. 
Ooh, that one missing just barely to the outside from the right-hander. Gavin McCoy. Now full count, 3-2 for Foster Mitchell. Patient through this at bat and he is going to walk over to first. On eight or nine pitches, lost count there, but. So Cato's walk. First, not in time. So Cato's Walter, freshman out of Nelton. First, no outs. See if the Trojans can get something started here. Another throw over to first. Starting to cool back off here in Moorhead, Mississippi. Another throw up, oh, pass ball over at first. Not gonna be. Side pitch there, two balls, no strikes. Let's go. I'm probably going to stop action as coach is going to come out and talk to Gavin McCoy. See if we get a change here. Again, another throw over to first. Safe and in time. Kate Oswalt had two pitches thrown to him so far. Now 3 0. So let's see what happens here. Put two runners on for the Trojan. That pitch going to be called a strike. As well take that pitch inside part of the plate. Time going to be called. Runners on first and second. No outs. Right hander Jacob Brooks come to the plate now for Mississippi De Mississippi Delta. Gonna lay down the bunt. Move the runners over to second and third. Just the one out. So two runners in scoring position. Big bat of Drew Gerald here, the Trojan catcher. 
a chance to uh, really get things rolling for the Trojans. Just the one out. Drew bats four in the hitting order. Could be big here. Just base hit, scores two runs, ties this thing up. Low inside pitch blocked up. My bats on the plate. That pitch can be called a strike as uh, Jekyll lays off of it. On the outside part of the plate. So ground ball right to second base. Scores a run for the Trojans. That's a... Uh, Second baseman Tyler Pearson just flips it over to first base. 2-1 here in Moorhead, Mississippi. In game two. Thomas Conn, the Trojan second baseman. Still a runner in scoring position. Freshman from Grenada, Mississippi. Tie this, ties this thing up with a base hit. Big breaking ball there. Gavin McCoy. One ball, one, in, one strike. High pitch, high inside. I mean, high level. He popped up. Jacob Hill, Rangers shortstop, going to be there to make the catch. So Trojans get on the board here in game one. No longer a shutout. Still trailing, two to one, going in the top, going into the seventh inning. So Got to find some runs. Got to play soccer. To get Northwest. My long-term goal has always been to teach. I had a professor when I was in culinary school that was kind of one of these life-changing guys. Spent a lot of time and effort with me. Uh, my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you. Whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste of the food, you have to have all three of those aspects together to make a really, really good dish. There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef. Knowledge, skill, taste, judgment, dedication, and pride. And if a student has those six things and follows through with them, they will be wildly successful. Having a dream and following through with that dream is probably one of the most rewarding things that I can have.
Welcome back. Trojan's going to make a pitch and change some relief for Colby Lafayette. This is going to be on the hill. Micah Reed, sophomore from New Albany, Mississippi. His first pitch going to miss low into the outside to the sophomore from Jackson, Mississippi, Cy Craig. Cy Craig going to take the second pitch and foul it down the first base side. Micah Reed, the right-hander. Missing just a bit to the outside on that pitch. Two balls and one strike. A 3-1. A lot of movement on that ball. And just to the outside, Northwest will have a base runner just like that. Back to the top of the hitting order. Jacob Hill. Sophomore from Bahia, Mississippi. Right-hander. No outs. Showing bunt there, one on base. Over to the first base on the high ball. over into the other batter's box. One one pitch for Micah Reed. Inside pitch on the inside part of the plate, excuse me. Gonna be called a strike, two strike now. Pretty solid pitching today from the Trojans, both games. Ash Koska and J.P. Allen pitched in game one, and Colby Lafayette and now Michael Reed. Two balls, two strikes. Ooh, very close. Maybe a little bit low, definitely across the plate. Score bug is right, is just at the center of the plate. I would guess about six inches. Six inches off the ground, so. Nah, yeah, it's about six inches off the ground, so. Perfect pitch there, fouled off. Remaining in the full count. Hard to play. Just the three two count and the runner on first. Throw to first. Not in time. And now on first and second for Northwest and no outs.
You're up next for Northwest. All more Fowler Branch, Mississippi. Change change behind the plate. That's Rudy Gerald still behind the plate. for the Trojans. It doesn't Grit, a four. Northwest, runners on first and second. Stanley, I'm going to bring somebody else to the heel who we got here. So Trojan's going to move their shortstop. Jacob Brooks to the heel. And as, as he gets warmed up here, we're going to step aside for just a second. As runners on first and second, no outs. We'll be back in just a bit. And watch MDCC Sports Network. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ramble Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody. Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. at North Sunflower Medical Center has been a godsend in many ways in that it has helped indigenous people here in this area to receive medical treatment. They've done a magnificent job and the hospital has not only attracted clientele from uh, the rural Sunflower County area, but surrounding counties. Mr. Morrow along with, with Dan. Welcome back, Jacob Brooks. Coming to throw, moving from shortstop, coming to throw for the Trojans. Kind of moves over to the second. I mean, he moves move over, moves from second to third, and coming in for to play seconds. Will Hallbrooks for the Trojans. We are in. Last ball, nobody's moving there. Big lead over on first. Nearly got the runner over there. Runners on first at second. Three balls and no strikes. Forgot who's at the plate. Fills the bag there. Walk.
Peyton Martin at the plate. That was uh, Cade Greer that walks. Prior, it's a bit at a, right before this. Pace is loaded, no outs. It's a tough position for the Trojans. High fly ball. Ball, ball, 0-2. Oh, fly ball here, high fly ball, scores a run. No outs. Peyton Martin, the right fielder. And he is going to ground this one right to Cohen at second and a throw. Two home plate. Out number one. Trojans getting the lead runner. And we're going to see up next at the plate, I believe, Leatherwood. The third baseman. The to face. Jacob Brooks for the first time. Coming in just a few seconds ago. First pitch got to be called a strike. Ball breaks pretty heavily. Catching the out, outer corner of the play. One pitch for Brooks. That's a heavy grounder. Turning to O's. Oh, could not turn two. Two runs going to cross the plate. And ball went in the dugout. So it's a stop in action there. Two runs get across the plate for Northwest. And that, that really hurts. So just the runner on second. So Ron Colley, designated hitter. Scoreboard still, still showing 3-1. I'm pretty sure two came across the plate there. It was just one. It was just one. So, called out in left field. It's going to move to the top half of the seventh. Trojans got some work to do. They want to keep this one alive. 3 1 in Northwest favor. We'll be back after this. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. They've done a magnificent job along with the other staff. Find out why everyone is saying, Take me to Rollville. We are broad in our area of what we teach. A student can come through and they can go in the mechanical design aspect of it. They can go into the architectural. They can go into the civil and surveying, estimating. I would say this is probably the sixth or fifth year that we've been heavy into the 3D printing. It is a valuable tool and it's the wave of the future. You don't have to have an art background. You don't have to have an engineering background. You want to pursue a four-year degree? We've got different avenues for that also. So my spare time, I'm still drawing at home, uh, designing residential homes and commercial buildings. I love what I do. And when I can teach a student to do and love what I do, it makes my day. It's wide open with electrical technology. We start with basic residential wiring. Uh, we start talking about how ACDC works together. 
and then we go into motor control for our second semester. Then after the first year, we go into pneumatics and hydraulics. Fourth semester, we go into AutoCAD. Welcome back. Number 22, first baseman for the Trojans, Alford Hill. Going to get things, hopefully get things started here for Mississippi Delta. A lot of work to do. In the bottom of the seventh, there was just one run scored. That base hit on that, or that ground ball that was an overthrow to first. Low outside pitch there from Gavin McCoy, who has been solo pitcher here for game two. High fly ball out in the right field. Foul territory going to be caught. Quick out number one on a couple of pitches. This is his first at bat today. This is going to be Mason Morgan. Sophomore, Brandon, Mississippi, East Rankin High School. Going to step into the box to face Gavin McCoy. And good contact, wraps a line drive shot right at shortstop, Jacob Hill, or excuse me, yeah, yeah, right over to Jacob Hill. And he is going to make the catch. So two outs, this is, this could be it right here as Trojan center fielder John Barajas. I fly ball short here over in foul territory. Going to be right, really close to the netting. And it's going to call it. And it's going to be caught right at the fence, and that's going to do it. So Trojans losing both today against Northwest Community College. One here in game two. Thank you for joining us, Kyle Wilson, with Rapid Productions. And you have been watching the MDCC Sports Network. We'll be back for live Trojan Sports Session on Saturday as as long as, uh, as long as, uh, it'll be softball, like I said. Anyway, uh, baseball will be back here. I think it's Good Friday when we have another home game, uh, another broadcast for baseball. So see you then. Thank you for joining us today. You've been watching the MDC Network. Going to PLC, Programmable Logic Control. So anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall-mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system. You could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. They can make 50 grand starting. I have students who are hired before they get out of school. 